Now, the transfer window actually opens in four days. That's right. I need to put a three fingers then, but it's actually four days. So that's right. After then, we're going to see loads of transfer videos. We're going to see loads of stuff here on my channel, but it's all started a little bit early. So today, we're here with another transfer video. Now, I can confirm this is a rumor episode, okay, but there are some very highly reliable sources for this video. Some very interesting stories to check out that, you know, make it almost could be confirmed very soon. So it's not like, you know, I've just gone and Googled Neymar to Man United and then I've just picked any article and then put that in the video. These are pretty reliable sources talking about some of these transfers, okay? And we're going to cover it all today. Now, if you want to see our brand new confirmed transfer video on Thursday, the day of the transfer window opening, drop a like and a thumbs up down below. 3,000 thumbs up and that is coming to you. Now, the first player is, of course, Wayne Rooney. Now, he looks like he's MLS bound, okay? And this looks like to be a pretty good done deal, okay? It looks pretty concrete right now. So, Wayne Rooney is on BBC Sport as well, okay? Okay, DC United coach Ben Olsen confirms interest in the Everton striker. So there's a few interesting situations going on here. DC United head coach has confirmed the club's interest in signing Wayne Rooney, but Everton boss Sam Allardyce says the player is not actually asked to leave. They've not, he's not even said anything apparently. Now the former England captain has agreed a deal with the MLS soccer side, okay, that could see him move to the USA. It is thought Rooney 32 is willing to leave his boyhood club Everton once after one season of return at the club. Now the deal is not done, but there is some interest from our end. This is what Olsen told TMZ. So we're going proper American style here. So it's understood Rooney's been offered a contract until the end of the 2012-2020 season, should I say. So he's got a couple of year deal. So just go out and see the rest of his football career in the MLS, which I think would be pretty decent for him. be pretty nice. Now him going to Washington was a big surprise. I've always seen this guy going to LA Galaxy or New York Club or something like that. I thought this was a big surprise, but you know, I kind of rate it. It's different. It is pretty different. And Ice Command said, if a player wants to go, if any player wants to leave, then I'm comfortable with that. My understanding of the situation is there seems to have been some negotiations somewhere along the line. So he knows, he's confirming there are there have been talks. This is Everton's manager confirming this. But in terms of clarity of whether Wayne is staying or leaving, I'll find out a little more later when he comes into training. So, you know, he knows the results now. I don't get involved in anything with regards to transfers. So all I know is there appears to have been interest from DC United. Where that lies and where, you know, Wayne lies with that, I can't tell you at the minute. This is coming from all from Sam Allardyce right now. He also left training the other day very early whilst the rest of his team were training. In, so I don't know if that tells you anything, but yeah, it looks like Wayne Rooney is finally MLS bound. It's finally going to happen. Now we're actually going to look at some swaps, okay, for next episode. The next player I want to talk about is actually Anthony Martial. Now Anthony Martial was supposed to be in the Watford squad today, but he was supposed to be starting as well, but he's not in the squad anymore. Mourinho hasn't said why, and he was seen driving off away from the stadium, okay? So, you know, Mourinho came out and said this guy was starting, he was going to be playing, he's going to play up front against Watford. Next thing you know, he's not even in the squad, and he's, he's seen driving away from Old Trafford before the game like 12 p.m. today. So this is not good news, okay? This just confirms that, you know, Martial could be possibly on his way out of United. Now, it's been obvious that the whole season, this guy's not really had a lot of luck this year, considering his considering his season last year, he's not really had a lot of luck. He's not really getting a lot of game time through Jose Mourinho as well. There seems to have been a bit of feud there as well, falling outs, etc., etc. And today's information, today's, you know, sort of result against Watford, or, well, not result against Watford, but the result of what happened with Martial's situation, just tells me, and probably tells you guys as well, that he's going to be on his way out of United and it looks like it could be a bit of a swap deal going on. Now I mentioned swap deal because like I say this is very interesting. It's something to really talk about here. We've got William the other direction. So Martial to Chelsea which you just seen and then we've got William to Man United which is going to be very interesting if this happens. So we know William's been linked with a move to United now ever since Mourinho joined. We know Mourinho is a big fan of William. They've worked together before. We know that William likes Mourinho. They've had a lot of success together but there's always been that transfer rumour linking William to Man United. And now with Martial finally available, it looks like a deal here could be done. Now, I don't know who's getting the better a better side of this right now. Martial's got, you know, a lot more years on William. He's got a lot more of a future ahead of him. William is uh, he's a very, very good player. I really don't know who's getting the better end of this trade if the trade goes ahead. I really can't tell you. So I want you guys to put it in the comment section down below. Who do you think is getting the better end of this trade deal? Do you think it's Manchester United? Do you think it's Chelsea? Who's getting the best player? Martial to Chelsea. Obviously, William to United. I don't really know. Now, the main thing for me, here is Chelsea's situation. Looks like the manager's leaving. They're losing again today, I believe, at the minute against Newcastle. I think Dwight Gale scored the goal. I think I think that's what's happening. Now, I know Williams never really expressed, you know, that he's going to be leaving Chelsea, whereas Martial has expressed the potential leaving United. His agent's been involved in a few things. Obviously, now he's seen, you know, leaving the, leaving the ground and not even playing today when he was promised to be playing. So that just, that's a big, big, I don't know what's going on. But there you go. There is a big, interesting swap situation. We've seen Rooney to DC. We've 
we've seen Williams to United, we've seen Martial to Chelsea. Let's move on to another swap. I want to keep looking at some swaps here. Now we have a big swap, okay? Now I don't want to talk about this one too much, okay? Because it's very boring. Emre Chan to Juventus. We know this transfer is pretty much like 90% done. The things he said recently in interviews about Liverpool Football Club is very, I thought, a little bit disrespectful, to be honest, given that, you know, Liverpool in a Champions League final. Juventus are not this year for the first time in a little while. But that's not the main reason I'm talking about this story here today, because we all know his contract's expiring. We all know he's expressed he wants to leave. We all know Juventus are interested. We all know he wants to go to Juventus. But the, the interesting thing is, I'm talking about swaps here. What players come the other direction to Liverpool from Juventus? So if you're a Liverpool fan, you're probably thinking, you know what, Juventus, pretty much, they've got a very good squad, very good depth in their squad. Probably take most of their players. While I've got a player for you guys today that could be coming the other direction and part of the swap. Now, it's a very like-for-like -like swap. It's a centre mid. It's also a German international as well. Very, very similar. We've got Sami Khedira. Now, Sami Khedira is a little bit older than, of course, Emre Can. Emre Can's got a bit more of a future ahead of him. You know, Khedira probably doesn't. But Sami Khedira is obviously, well, how old is he? 31 years of age now. Very well experienced international. Played at Real Madrid. Played at Juventus. Obviously played so many games with Germany. He is just one of the most experienced internationals that, you know, Liverpool could sign in centre mid if they really wanted to. It, it just, he's up there. So this guy is, I mean, we just take a look at his honours here and what he has won and what he could bring to the table for Liverpool. So he's won the World Cup. He won the under-21 championships as well when he was there. Obviously, when he was a bit younger. He's won the Serie A a couple of times, Coppa Italia. He's won the Liga. He's won the Champions League. He's won the UEFA Super Club, FIFA Club World Cup, a Super Copper. He's won the Bundesliga as well with Stuttgart. I mean, he's won everything there is to win in football. That's just, just safe to say he's won everything in every league he's pretty much been to. Even when he was up, you know, Stuttgart in the Bundesliga, he won the league with Stuttgart. That wouldn't happen these days, but he managed to do that back in the day. Now, he's also in the UEFA Euro team at a tournament back in 2012. I don't really need, really need to talk about this guy's accolades anymore other than, you know what, he's very well experienced international, very good footballer. Obviously, Emre Can going to Juventus will be a big loss to Liverpool, but I also feel like Kadira would be a pretty big gain too. So, let's move on from them. They are all the swaps we've got to look at in this episode. We're going to look at another player now, actually actually, that I think will be, you know, a very big signing of happens. A lot of clubs have always been interested in him, but apparently a deal has been agreed with this guy, okay? Now, we've got Edison Cavani set to be going back to Spain. Now, I, I say back to Spain. He has played in Spain before. Let me check that. Edison Cavani, he's played in... No, he hasn't played in Spain, actually. So, the first time he's going to be playing in Spain, the 31-year-old looks like he's off to Atletico Madrid. Looks like he's finally going to be leaving PSG. Now, he's had a fantastic time at PSG. He's won so much. Let's have a look at what he's won. I like looking at the, you know, players' honours and medals and stuff. I like, I like Look at that. So he's won Primera Division. I think that's in. I mean, where where is this? I mean, is this in is this in Argentina? Oh no, I, it's in Uruguay. Okay, obviously it's you know nation if you like. Okay, he's won the league there. He's won the Coppa Italia with Napoli, but the PSG stuff. He's pretty much won the league every year. He's almost been there. And Copa del France, the Liga as well. Uh, other cups. I'm not even gonna bother trying to pronounce. And he's won Serie A Team of the Year loads of times. Top scorer in Serie A, Liga One Team of the Year, top scorer in Liga One as well. Just a very well experienced striker. And to be honest, he would walk in Atletico's team surely. So yeah, there you go, guys. This very well experienced, very high goal scoring striker. Looks like he's finally going to be leaving PSG. And he looks like he's going to Spain. So meanwhile, Atletico have actually resigned to losing Griezmann. Okay, this is the big replacement for Griezmann after he's reportedly, you know, stuck a, struck a deal with Barcelona. Apparently that's happened. But they believe they've already, you know, landed his ideal replacement. And that being, of course, the one and only Cavani. He will definitely go to that league. And he definitely will be a top, top player and do very well. Let's move into the final. Final person now making a transfer, not a player, but it is, is of course Allegri. Now he looks like he's gonna be on his way to Arsenal. He's favourites, bookies favourites right now. He's favourite to go there. So loads of articles are saying that you know apparently he actually will agree, and they've already agreed a deal, but there are only rumours and reports and stuff like that. We're not gonna take him a bit of pinch of salt. Do you know what I mean? But yes, he is currently favourites. We've got loads of people in the hat. Mikel Arteta's in the hat to take over. Loads of players are so say interested in obviously uh, obviously managers as well as players going to be getting the job. So Allegri believes the current Arsenal side needs major work and he will only commit to becoming their manager if he's given £200 million to spend. That is big money. So Allegri saying, you know what, yeah, I will I will probably manage Arsenal, but I want the cash, okay? Not for me. I want to, you know, invest it into the squad and improve everything. And I think he does need a lot of money to do that. Now, not being an Arsenal fan, because I'm definitely not an Arsenal fan, I do believe this guy is the best candidate to take the job. What he's achieved at Juventus is just remarkable. Very well. He's just a very well organized manager.
manager, a very, very good organised manager, and I think he'd walk in Arsenal job over everyone that's in contention right now. I think to give it to someone like Mikel Arteta with not, you know, as much managerial experience is probably silly. Allegri's done it at the top level, Champions League finals, not won them, but he's been there. He's won the league several times in Italy. I just think this is the guy you've got to give a chance to and see what he can do. But anyway, guys, that is the end of the video. I'm going to give my final thoughts and opinions now where I drop the percentages of what I think these players are going to be to join, obviously, their clubs or not players, if you like. You know, Allegri, for example. Let's get into it right now. So, first of all, we've got Wayne Rooney. I think this is like an 85% done deal to go to DC United. I think, you know, looking at it, it just everything just adds up at the minute. I think this is extremely likely and I think Rooney's going to be finally off to the MLS. Martial to Chelsea now. I would say, I don't know. He's definitely, he looks like he's definitely set to leave. Don't know whether it's going to be Chelsea. Or I thought I saw a lizard on my wall there, but I don't know. I'm going to go 20% to Chelsea. I'm not really sure, but I think he's going to leave. Then William to United. I think that's probably 20% as well. If Martial does leave and they're not to Chelsea, I still think we're interested in signing him, being Mourinho's little golden boy, etc, etc. I think there's a chance. Then we've got Edison Cavani to, obviously, Atletico Madrid. I think that's a 25% chance. I think he might stay and do another season. I don't think he's guaranteed to leave. Then we've got Allegri to Arsenal. I reckon that's 50-50. Very likely. I think that's very likely he could go to Arsenal. But anyway, guys, take it easy. Have a good weekend. Drop a like and a thumbs up down below. Make sure it's a thumbs up, not a thumbs down. Take it easy. Peace. It's so strong in the